In our global fight against TB, we support the Ethiopian government to trace and treat thousands of missing cases. TB is a major public health problem in Ethiopia. More than 200,000 cases will be expected at country level, but we are detecting only two thirds of this uh, population. So one third of the population or one third of the TB cases were in the community transmitting the disease and they are undetected. So we need to work together with implementing partners in order to, to have these undetected cases, to detect them, treat as well as uh, improve their outcomes. Uh, we have developed a seven-year strategic plan. This strategic plan has different components. It's community-based TB care prevention and control, and also to, to strengthen our laboratory diagnostic capital capacities and implementing partners have different roles. The first role, they will support us to technically implement the strategic plan, and also they have a role in financially supporting in execution of the strategic plan. One of the newest weapons in fighting TB is the gene expert diagnostic technology. With a little bit of sputum, we can now detect if a patient has TB and which type of TB it is. The gene expert machine gives the answer within just two hours. Through the Challenge TB project funded by USAID, we distribute this costly technology to parts of Ethiopia where cases of TB formerly missed now can be found. Uh, KLCV Tuberculosis Foundation is uh, one of the key partners for the Ethiopian government in fight uh, against TB. But what is unique about uh, KNCV Tuberculosis Foundation is, one, it is a uh, hundred years old organization fighting TB, first within the Netherlands and then Europe and come out also to other countries, especially in Africa. And KNCV is also known to foster partnership. KNCV is renowned for its expertise on building capacity for TB control. In Ethiopia, we educate new gene expert specialists so they can trace the missing cases. TB patients who were, up till now, never found before. You know, these people, the ones that are being missed, are really the poor, are really the disadvantaged ones who do not have access for diagnostics and treatment, or they do not have the awareness of about the disease TB. Public awareness campaigns are crucial in the drive against TB. Many Ethiopians don't know what TB is or how it's transmitted. Wende and Betty both got infected by multi-drug resistant TB, the type that kills many people because it's often undetected or detected too late and hard to treat. On average, every untreated patient can infect up to 15 other people. Wende is cured, but Betty could still infect her children. <laughs> Supporting patients with a box of free nutritious food and paying their transport costs encourages them to come to the hospital for regular checkups. The treatment support package is really instrumental to make sure that the patients complete their treatment. So we really focus on the patient. We are supporting them to make sure that they are getting cured so that helps us to interrupt the transmission. Now we are seeing in a number of countries with extensively drug resistance TB, which is becoming also resistant to second line drug treatment. So this is a concern to the entire world. So it is just like fighting with terrorism. If you want to address terrorism, it's better to address it where it is there. Don't wait until it comes to your country. So, the same analogy works for TB. Don't wait until 
it reaches you. Try to you know, address it where it is. So you are protecting your future and then you are helping people down there which are being affected by those. So, you know, the not having these cases picked as early as possible has a lot of implication. And the implication has also an economic impact, not only individually, but for the country at large. Because TB is affecting the productive age group, TB is affecting the farmers. The investment in TB is one of the high return investment in terms of supporting the economy. Children are very vulnerable to TB, especially children from poorer families. Two years ago, nine-year-old Workinesh was a missing case until she was, almost too late, diagnosed with multi-drug resistant extrapulmonary TB. <laughs> Workanesh won her fight against TB. She plays with her friends again. But many poor children in Ethiopia still remain missing cases. If uh, KNCV Tuberculosis Foundation have a chance to have one dream project, I would say it should be focusing on the poor people, people in congregate settings. We have orphanages, we have straight children. Let's reach to them. And that is really humanity. And on top of that, we are also addressing the missing cases. That's where they are. Finding the yearly 65,000 missing cases in Ethiopia would save the future of the country and reduce the threat of multi-drug resistant TB to the rest of the world. <laughs>